Hello athletes, welcome to another week of your CrossFit Cure at Home workouts. This is for the week of July 13th. Um, let's go ahead and get right started with Monday. Today's workout is uh, called Chow Chow. It is five three minute AMRAPs. Before we uh, get into those movements, let's go ahead and get warmed up. Our warm up today is an eight minute AMRAP, so get that clock rolling. Goal is to get to, you know, two to three rounds of this. So if you get through three rounds, you're good to go. No need to go the full eight minutes. Otherwise, if you want to move nice and slow through maybe one to two rounds, um, you can go the full eight minutes here. It's gonna be 10 shoulder circles each way. So just moving those shoulders around, getting those warmed up. Do a large range of motion, really squeeze to the front and to the back as you pass through those and switch up direction, 10 each way. 20 shoulder taps in plank. So down into that plank, you can do a knee plank if you need to. Um, again, this is just getting our shoulders warmed up, bringing your uh, one hand up to touch the opposite shoulder and back down, alternating each repetition. 10 push-ups. Again, um, just getting us warmed up so you can do these elevated, you can do these from your knees, you can do these off the toes. Just try and stay strict on them and get through a full range of motion here. Bring that chest all the way down to the floor. Good option here is to practice hand release push-ups if you want. So as you get down, lifting your hands up off the ground for a split second. Uh, last movement is five dumbbell strict press in each arm. These are supposed to be light. Um, something I want you to work on with dumbbell strict press, pressing that dumbbell, starting it on your shoulder, straight up overhead. Really work on bringing that uh, arm directly over your shoulder. Elbow should be straight over your shoulder. Wrist should be straight over your elbow, not out in front, not out to the side. Okay, those are all your movements. Again, get through that um, probably two to three times unless you're going slower, maybe one to two times for that full eight minutes. Our workout, chow chow, five sets of three, uh, sorry, five three-minute AMRAPs. That's a better way to put that. Okay, this is all about the push-ups. We're gonna break that up um, with a squat movement in the middle, but we are gonna start with 10 push-ups. Our type of push-up is going to change for every AMRAP. We are doing five three-minute AMRAPs. Uh, the first round, we will do 10 regular push-ups, so hands just outside the shoulders. Really be careful to watch the angle of your elbows on this. We don't want them right into our sides. We don't want them way out here somewhere in this area around 45 degrees. And again, hands right below your shoulders, uh, maybe just outside so that you can get all the way to the bottom, full range of motion. Our second um, AMRAP, we will do wide push-ups, so scooting those hands out. Our third uh, AMRAP, we will do diamond push-ups, so making a diamond with your hands, that is going to target your triceps a little bit more. Our fourth, set we will do staggered push-ups with the left hand slightly forward so right hand right under your shoulder left hand about uh, under your face and then for our final round we will do staggered with the right hand okay so make sure you're changing up your push-up style on every set we can scale these to knee push-ups elevated push-ups um, or if any of those movements don't work for us we can stick to regular push-ups for all five but it's more fun to mix it up after you hit your um, Push-ups, you are going to go into 10 squat jumps. So nice wide squat stance, come all the way down to parallel, and then explosive squat, getting some air in the top. Make sure you land soft, go right back into that squat. If you are not able to do squat jumps, you can do 10 air squats or 10 kind of explosive air squats where you just come up a little bit faster, squeezing your glutes. After you get your 10 squat jumps, you are going to go in the remainder of the three minutes, you're gonna go uh, max seated strict press. So sitting on your butt, legs out in front of you, this will make sure that you're not using assistance from your hips or knees. Just like we practiced with that strict press in the warm up, pressing that arm straight up overhead, you're gonna alternate every five reps, um, getting as many as you can in the remainder of the time. We are going to record for this workout total strict press reps, okay? So we're gonna track that every round. Um, because our reps on the push-ups and squat jumps are going to be the same. So that's what we're going to record every round. Record how many strict press you get in that remaining time. Then you're going to rest two minutes and then you'll go into your second AMRAP and so on. Resting two minutes between every three minute AMRAP. It is 15 minutes of work um, with um, two minutes of rest between each. And that is the workout. Ciao, ciao. Okay. Let's talk about our accessory work today. Um, 
grab, you should only, you can grab two dumbbells or one, it's up to you. We're gonna do three sets of 60 seconds dumbbell pullover. So this is laying on your back, arms on the ground overhead, grabbing a dumbbell or two dumbbells, and you are going to, exactly what it sounds like, pull those over. We don't need to bring them all the way down to our hips, but pulling over straight up, basically over our shoulders. Um, this is going to engage the lats and then lowering it back down nice, slow and controlled. We're not going for an amount of reps here. So challenge yourself by doing these a little bit slower, a little more controlled. Try not to let that dumbbell drop back down to the ground as you lower it back down. Then we're gonna go uh, 30 seconds, dumbbell chainsaw rows each arm. This is gonna be a nice uh, wide, almost a lunge stance, okay? Keeping our chest somewhat upright, you're gonna have your dumbbell um, in your hand and you're going to bring it down to the ground and then you're gonna come up, lift up your chest and row that dumbbell up. This is just like if you're trying to start a chainsaw, okay? So that's the goal there. Chainsaw rows 30 seconds each side and then dumbbell shrugs. You can hold one dumbbell in between. Ideally, you're gonna get two uh, slightly heavier dumbbells, hold them at your sides and shrug your shoulders up as tall as you can get them. Again, slow and controlled is gonna be better here. That is it for accessory. So do that three times through. Um, and then our stretching work today is a five minute clock of 10 YTW drills. So making a Y with your arms, bringing out to the sides. These are unweighted, making a T and then um, bending at the elbows and rotating your arms up, making a W. Go ahead and watch the video movement on this one. Pay close attention so you can see how to do it right. And then we've got 10 reach, roll, and lift. So in that child's pose, kind of kneel down, squatting our butt down onto our feet, reaching forward, both hands, we're gonna reach forward one arm at a time. You are going to rotate or roll and raise it up. This is a shoulder mobility movement. Get it up as high as you can, bring it back down and then alternate arms. 10, so five each side. And then um, you're going for five minutes. So go back through the YTWs and continue that. That is it for Monday, guys. Thank you for watching. We will see you tomorrow.